Hello, and welcome to episode 16 of my Imperium Galactic Survival Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode we'll be on looking at the blueprints and making a small vessel so we can travel to an asteroid field and mine some sapphium ore and neo ore, which we will need in order to make ourselves a capital vessel. So why do we want the capital vessel, you're probably wondering. Well, let's bring up the inventory by pressing the tab key and then click blueprints okay so here's the blueprints now if you click on stock it shows you all the blueprints you have available to you in order to build and the first one along after that so that stocks after that you've got bases and here's some pre-built bases that you can make make uh, you'll notice in one of my previous episodes I've made I've made that prefab um, they're very simple and easy to make, providing you have the materials. So you see the structure on the right that you're going to make, and on the left it's showing you what materials you need. Now when you're making the different things like the hover vehicle, small vessel, or capital vessel, or the bases, the way it works is you need either ingots or planks, and occasionally things like this growing plots. Once you have the materials, you then click to this button to factory and then it will start building that so if we go to small vessels now you have a choice you can either build your small vessel from scratch yourself or you can use a pre-made one but remember you will need the materials in order to make it so for this small vessel which is the one I want to make to take me up into space so I can start gathering the materials I need I need iron ingots 352 171 copper ingots, 135 cobalt ingots and 108 silicon ingots. When you get them ingots, uh, the materials you need, you're then going to go to the to factory. So let's click on the factory tab and you'll see that in the factory tab, providing you have the materials, what you can then do is, so let's say I hadn't started building this. I started building this because I didn't want you to wait the 12 minutes in order for it to build, so I started it early. But when you click, uh, when you're in the library and you go to factory, so it will then take you to the library, the factory, sorry, this side will be empty. These will all be zeros. The ingots will obviously be in your pocket. So what you have to do is drag the different ingots from your pocket to this box down here. Okay. So with this one I had to drag 352 iron ingots to this box and left click them there. They then appeared in here. Now I dropped 400 in there so I dropped more than enough. For the copper ingots <coughs> Again, all the materials listed here, you simply drag and drop them down to here. And then that will put the, put it into the materials up here. So as you can see, in two more minutes, we're going to have ourselves a small little vessel. Now there's a good reason for doing it this way and a bad reason. And, and a, there's a downside and an upside to do building um, vehicles and bases through the blueprints. The Good. The upside is that it's made much simpler. You don't have to go around spending hours placing each block and getting it designed just perfectly. It's all done for you. The downside is it's going to be made out of the weakest material, concrete blocks, uh, uh, steel blocks. So one shot from a drone is probably going to take the block out. So if I was up against a few drones, they're probably going to disintegrate my craft. Now the reason I'm not going to stick with the small vessel, why I'm going to jump to the capital vessel uh, when I have the necessary materials for it. So if we go to the library. So the small vessels, you can see that you can make some other better ones, but you need rare ores for them. I'm, I've only got the common ores at the moment in abundance. So our, my idea, my plan is to make a small vessel, this one, out of the ores I've got plenty of, take it up into space and mine the materials I'm going to need in order to make the first tier 1 capital vessel. So as you can see I'm going to need 196 sapphium ingots and 62 neo ingots. And the way I'm going to get them is by using my small vessel. <coughs> 
excuse me. Now what I'm going to do though is I've made some hardened steel blocks and once, once this is made I'm going to protect them as you're going to see. I'm going to protect my core and other important blocks on it with hardened steel blocks. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. Okay, so a few more seconds and we'll have ourselves this small vessel. So as you can see, the blueprints very nice way of building items. What you do is you build them using blueprints and then customise them once they're finished using um, hardened steel to protect the outside. Or you might want to put lights on. You're most certainly going to want to put landing gear. See blueprint pr production successfully done. Okay, so if we go... Oh, it's cleared out the factory. Okay, let's now take a look at this. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to build it. Right, okay, so let's find it first of all. There we go. So when you go back to the library, you'll now notice for that, that item I just built, so in this case it was a small vessel, this button now, Spawn, has now illuminated. Because I've built it, as you could just see, I now have the option to spawn it in. So let's click Spawn. And you see it goes red where you can't place it, blue where you can. So I could actually place it down here, like so. But what I will do is that in actual fact is, mm, or shall I? No, let's place it here. You left click and it places it. And plonk, down it goes. Okay, so taking a quick look at it, you'll notice there's no landing gear on it. Uh, landing gear, uh, I just like to put on my crafts because it makes them look normal, more like a normal craft. Now you can see that in there there's the fuel tanks. Remember, the easiest way to access the parts of the ship is to go inside it by doing the F key on the cockpit and then the P key. So let's take a look at what this has given us, this uh, pre-made one. So we'll get a small ammo box, cargo box, uh, it's got the cockpit 9, it's got a mobile constructor, there's the core, it's got a fridge so I can keep my food on it, uh, fuel tanks which we'll now need to fill up if I'm to use this. So let's fill that up switch to the other one and fill that up. Now what you'll notice is I've got spares. So I've got a spare RCS, a spare fuel tank and a spare core. Uh, because there's a very good chance when I go up to space to an asteroid to mine it, a droid's going to come along and give me a bad day by taking out one of these, which means I won't be able to fly the vessel anymore. And of course, I don't want to be stranded on an astro asteroid. Uh, so you want to take spares of the vital components. So I'm going to need to make a generator as well, in case that gets destroyed. For now, though, we filled it with fuel. So now what I can do, let's come out here. Let's turn it on. Uh, space bar, remember, takes you up. So I'm going to fly above the ground a bit then the F key to jump out and now what I can do is fit the landing gear on so if I go into my pocket I've made the tier 1 landing gear and the tier 2 just to show you the difference okay so if we first look at the tier 1 There's the tier 1 landing gear. If you right click, you can switch between different ones. Oh, that was a docking pad. How weird. Even though it's landing gear blocks, you can, you, you can make a docking pad with it, which you use to dock to your capital vessel. But what I was looking for, of course, was something like this. So there we go. It's going to stop the underneath getting damaged and keep it my ship raised off the ground a bit. So I can either use that or I can go to the tier 2 which you can see is much bigger now I, I wouldn't want to place it like that now would I because that's just not even so if I come around the front of the ship you'll see what I mean so I wouldn't want to place it there or oh, I could place it there I guess but it will look a bit of a mess but it will protect uh, the items behind it which I want to do in any way I want to encase my 
bottom of the ship with the hardened sleeping locks. So alright, let's place that landing gear there. And now for placing the two on the back, let's put one on either side. So, one there. And I want to try and get this lined up if I can. It's not too much of a mess. And one there. Okay, so there you go, fitted some landing gear. Next thing I want to do is protect the most important bits, which is the core, that's a constructor, what the rest. So the tank, the fuel tank, definitely need to protect that. Basically, I want to cover the whole of its belly. trouble is one shot from a drone and I've lost that thruster so what I'm going to do disassemble take that off take that off the guns are a joke I'm not even going to be using them on this vessel this is a mining vessel not a military uh, now what I'll do is protect my fuel to my oxygen tank if I run out of oxygen in space well you can just imagine uh, let's put that in front of that, let's put that there, and what I'm doing is I'm just protecting my craft so it doesn't get obliterated. I want, I want it to survive long enough for me to get some ores. Uh, I'm going to remove them as well. You see the hit points on them, it's, it's a joke. 50 hit points, one shot from a drone and it's disintegrated. So, a bit of a joke. What we have to do is reinforce it with the hardened steel. Oh, that I can move, remove. doing here is I'm trying to protect my ship, uh, the, the weak components with these hardened steel blocks. Uh, let's just go to the multi tool So you can see they've got 200 hit points as opposed to 50 hit points. So they're not going to last forever but they're going to last four times longer than a normal block. So that's why I like to protect the core of the ship like so. Um, actually, 
So there we go, that's a little better protected, it's not perfect. Oh wow, there is the time already. I did know that this episode was going to overrun. So there we go, I've got a basic vehicle. Now what I've got in my pocket, remember, is a spare core, a spare fuel tank, a spare RCS. Um, let's quickly go and make a generator, because the chances are that a drone will blow up my generator, the one part I haven't got a spare of. So let's go get a spare for that. And then we'll go have a bit of mining fun uh, with an asteroid. Oh, what am I doing? What am I looking for even? Ah, oh, yeah. So I'm looking for the generator which is there. Uh, you see that that's for the small vessel and hover vehicle. The drones are going to try their best to blow up my generator and if they do, well I'll have a spare that I can plug in if they do. Uh, I should really make a thruster or two in case they blow them up. There are all different types of thrusters here. I must get around to experimenting to see how good they are. Uh, but let's make one of them and one of them. Don't go flying off into space with no spares on you. Your ship will get hit by drones, droids. They've up their aggro now, uh, the developers. So I noticed when mining in space, I'd always get attacked. And they usually disintegrate the craft. So make sure you've got the main components you're gonna need to get home. one to be built. That's enough. Let's see if I do get uh, blown up in space. So back to this vessel, now that we've got a few vital spares. Of course you'll notice I'm also carrying oxygen, O2 bottles with me, which I'm going to need in space, and plenty of food. Uh, uh, so let's eat some food. Okay, so let's go back to the vessel. Let's now jump in, let's bring up the ship and let's now put some oxygen in the O2 tank. And let's see, the food I could put half of it, or in fact all of it, in the fridge. stop that deteriorating although that does last a long long time the food okay so there we are we're now ready to hop off into space um yeah you aren't going to probably do the same as me you'll probably put your guns on there because you want to do all of that i'm just this ship has one purpose to get me enough saffian and neo ore in order to make my capital vessel so let's go take a look at some astronauts okay so we'll head up into space can actually just press the space bar and keep your nose level and then watch it slowly go through the atmosphere. This is so cool, the fact that you can do this. I just so unbelievably cool. Love the fact that you can go out to asteroids and mine rare ores. Here we are, so a freight has been spotted. There's an asteroid field, that's where we're now going to head. Let's see if we can find the Saffium ore and the O ore. We're going to keep our eyes open though for droids, and what I'm going to do is fight them off myself with my uh, pistol. As crazy as that might sound. But I want to quickly find some Saffium, mine it, uh, and Neo or if I can find it, and then just fly back to my planet, Aqua. 
then I can start production on a capital vessel once I've got enough and then once I've stuck rocket turrets on it I'll feel much more safer out here rocket and cannon turrets now what we're looking for in the asteroids is the name of the ores to appear you will notice as we fly through this asteroid field eventually the name of some ores will start to appear like an ore asteroid it will make sense in a moment what I'm saying but we're keeping our eyes open as we fly in the asteroid field Let's see if we can get lucky and find ourselves some sapphire. You can usually see an all asteroid by the colours on it, um, but uh, you usually see them that that a distance off, and then the name will come in range. You'll see once I can find. Oh, there we go. 1.27, oh that's a space drone, that's not what I want, and it's a plasma, and it's probably coming straight for me. Let's get out of its range if I can. I certainly don't want to fight, I've got no guns. I just wanted to demonstrate mining, not fighting. So I'm going to fly this way around and hope that I can outrun that uh, drone. I mean, it was a plasma drone, for goodness sake, so I don't even think the hardened steel plates would last longer than one shot. So there's our first asteroid, a Neo asteroid, Neo ore. So I could grab just a bit of that. Let's come. See, let's see if I'm still being followed by that enemy drone. No, I'm not. Okay, let's do a tiny little bit of mining, and then I'll end the episode just to show you the mining side of it. Uh, yes, you can fit a mining drill onto your small vessel. I'm just going to go on and hop onto it with my tier 2 drill. Okay, let's press the F key. Turn on my helmet. Right, go to my switch to my drill. And let's see if I can get me some ore. Neo ore. jetpacks off. You need to use your jetpack, so remember U key to turn your helmet on, J key for your jetpack, and then you can happily go around, find the spot on the asteroid where you can mine. Wait a minute, I need to put it on resource mining. Silly me. There you go. Right, let's see if we can get some ores. There you go, we're starting to get Neo ore. 
Now, if I get a hundred of that, that will be plenty. It's sapien ore that I need to eat 200 of, at least. But it's best not to stay still on one asteroid when you're in space because I've noticed dro enemy droids or drones will start appearing and they will give you a bad day. They'll disintegrate your craft. So, oh, I need to reload. So I want to try and get 100 Neo ore and then that'll be fine. Okay, right, well what I'll do is, um, that's mining asteroids, showing you how to find the asteroid for mining, because you can't mine them all. If you go to an asteroid that can't be mined and you try and mine it, it'll just tell you, it'll give you a message saying uh, this can't be mined or something like that. Now the next thing I've got to do is find my craft. Well, I'm going to end the episode here because I'm going to be pushing my luck otherwise. How much did I get? 59. Well, I'll carry on mining a bit off camera. Um, in the next episode, I will. we can build a capital vessel, because hopefully I'm going to get some sapphium or, or wherever, wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.